Hello everyone. Welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. I am John Lewandowski. Um, our other host is unavailable tonight. Uh, last minute thing, but uh, I'm here and I'll be covering all three games that went on tonight in our system. The Nashville Predators, the Milwaukee Admirals, and the Atlantic Gladiators. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right. So first today was the ECHL's uh, affiliate, the Atlanta Gladiators, um, at the Savannah Ghost Pirates. Shots on goal in the first period, both teams had nine shots. In the second period, the Ghost Pirates had eight to Atlanta's five. In the third period, Atlanta had 17 to the Ghost Pirates' five. And in total, Atlanta had 31 shots to the Ghost Pirates' 22. On the power play, Atlanta went 0 for 4 with 15 minutes, 6 infractions, while Savannah went 2 for 4 with 38 minutes, 8 infractions. All right, so scoring in the first period at the 746 mark for the Ghost Pirates was Ross Armour, assisted by Devin Palini and Nicholas Zabana. Then at the 10.38 mark, the Ghost Pirates score again with a goal from Devin Pellini, um, assisted by Reese Vitelli and Nathan Steos. Then in the second period, the Ghost Pirates scored at 19.36 with a goal from Will Rydell, assisted by Dennis Cezana and Riley Hughes. Then in the third period at the 3.08 mark for Atlanta, Michael marshes on assisted by Andrew Jarvis. Uh, then at the 839 mark for Atlanta was a goal by Jeremy Hansel. The final goal of the game went to the Ghost Pirates at the 1851 mark with a goal from Liam Walsh, assisted by Reese Vitelli and Riley Hughes. The Atlanta Gladiators fall to the Savannah Ghost Pirates 4-2. Um, I would like to add that Savannah's second goal was scored on the power play. Um, Savannah's third goal was scored on the power play. And then the final goal of the game was scored on an empty net. Uh, in net for Savannah was the goalie Kincaid. He stopped 29 of 31. In goal for Atlanta was Ethan Hader, stopping 18 of 21. The three stars of the game, uh, third star for Savannah was Riddell, second star for Savannah was Pellini, and first star for Savannah was Kincaid. Uh, so that'll do it for the Atlanta Gladiators game today. Next up is the AHL affiliate Milwaukee Admirals versus the Manitoba Moose in Manitoba. Shots on goal in the first period, Manitoba outshot Milwaukee 13 to eight. In the second period, both teams had 11 shots. In the third period, Manitoba had nine shots to Milwaukee's eight. And in total, Manitoba outshoots Milwaukee 33 to 27. On the power play, Milwaukee goes one for two with 17 minutes, seven infractions, while Manitoba goes 0 for six with nine minutes, three infractions. All right, let's get to scoring. Scoring in the first period for the Admirals at the 614 mark was Fedor Svechkov, scoring his third on the power play. Assisted by Cal O'Reilly, his sixth, and Joachim Kemmel, his fourth. Then at the 1442 mark for the Moose, Henry Nikonen scores his first of the year unassisted. That would do it for the first period. In the second period, at the 835 mark, the Admirals score with a goal from Jake Lucchini, his first on the year, assisted by Kevin Graval, his third, and Vinny Henestroza, his 11th. 
and Estroza has been playing very well this year. Um, that would do it for the second period. In the third period, at the 17-20 mark, uh, the Admirals score with a goal from Vinny Henestrosa, his fifth on the year. That was on the empty net, assisted by Ozzy Weisblatt, his third, and Reed Schaefer, his first. Then at the 1804 mark, the Admirals score again with a goal from Navrin Mutter, his first on the year, assisted by Jake Livingstone, and that was also on an empty Denet. In it, goal for Manitoba was Dominic DiVincentius. Um, he stopped 19 of 21. And in goal for the Milwaukee Admirals was Magnus Corona, stopping 28 of 29. Um, your three stars of the game. Uh, third star, uh, the Milwaukee Admirals is Vinny Henestroza with a goal and an assist. Second star for the Manitoba Moose was Dominic Davincius, stopping 23 of 25. And first star of the game was Magnus Corona, stopping 32 of 33. And so the Admirals have now won eight in a row. And are in first place in the Central Division with 16 points at 8 and 1, nine games into the season. Uh, that'll do it for the AHL. Now we move on to the NHL and the Nashville Predators versus the Colorado Avalanche in Nashville. All right, so shots on goal. In the first period, Nashville outshoots Colorado 11 to 8. In the second period, Colorado outshoots Nashville 12 to 5. In the third period, Colorado outshoots Nashville 10 to 9. And in total, Colorado outshoots Nashville 30 to 25. Uh, it was pretty close to being even on the face-off uh, tonight. The Predators were a little better at 50.8% to Colorado's 49.2%. On the power play, Colorado went one for four with six penalty minutes, and Nashville went two for two with eight penalty minutes. Colorado out hit Nashville 26 to 23. Nashville blocked 25 shots to Colorado's 15. Colorado had 23 giveaways to Nashville's 16, and Colorado had 11 takeaways to Nashville's 4. All right, so scoring in the first period, there was nothing. Scoring in the second period at the 254 mark for Colorado was Cale McCarr, scoring his fifth goal of the year on the power play, assisted by Middlestat, his eighth, and McKinnon, his fourth. 14. Then at the 831 mark on the power play, Steven Stamco scores his second of the year, assisted by Yossi, his sixth, and O'Reilly, his sixth. Um, then in the second period as well, at the 1840 mark on a tip in uh, for Nashville, Colton Sisson scores his first of the year. Assisted by Del Gaizo, his first, and LaRue, his second. So let's get into the final period of play here. At the 5.15 mark of the third period for Nashville, Roman Yossi scores his first on the power play. Assisted by Stamkos, his third, and Marchessant, his fifth. Then at the 1743 mark for Colorado, Nathan McKinnon scores his sixth, assisted by Taves, his second, and McCarr, his 16th. Um, then at the 1846 mark, on an empty net, Philip Forsberg scores his sixth of the year, assisted by Nyquist, his third. And then at the 1919 mark on an empty net, Gustav Nyquist scores his fourth of the year unassisted, and Nashville wins five to two. Um, let's see. Uh, 
your goalies for the game for Colorado was Eustace Noonan stopping 20 of 23 with a save percentage of 0 0.870. In goal for Nashville was UC Soros stopping 28 of 30 with a 0.933 save percentage. Your three stars of the game was third star for Nashville, UC Soros. Uh, second star for Nashville, Roman Yossi with a goal and an assist and two points. And first star of the game was Steven Stamkos with a goal and an assist and two points. Nashville looked a lot better than the last game. I thought this was a winnable game for them. And um, they went out and got the job done against a really tough Colorado squad, even though they have some injuries going on right now. I think they played well tonight. I think they communicated well tonight, and hopefully they can build on this moving forward. So, all right, I believe that will do it. I hope everyone is having a good evening and have a good rest of your weekend. This is John Lewandowski from Milwaukee to Nashville. Have a good night.